right, motherfuckers. Welcome back to my channel. I am the law. And this is fucking Judge D. Yes, motherfuckers, I'm back to present you the figure of the year. The figure that I've been waiting for all my life to happen. And now it happened. Yes, made by art figures, Judge Dreads from the epic movie Dread 3D. Now let me show you what this beautiful figure is all about. And don't forget, I am the law. All right, folks, this is it. He's finally here, motherfuckers. And listen in the background, the music. And tracks, I'm the law, the soundtrack. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And um, <clears throat> I really have to say, guys, I'm so stoked about this figure. Not only I'm a huge fan of Judge Dredd, but also I think the movie Dread 3D is one of the coolest movies ever. I just love everything about that movie. And I'm so super happy that art figures provide us this beautiful um, replication of the character Dread, portrayed by Carl Urban. Um, which is not 100% spot-on likeness, but it's always the same with art figures. Um, they get like 80-90% ah, of the character's likeness and the rest is somehow off. But nevertheless, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at him. Wow. I can tell you guys, in hand, his presence is so mighty, if I can say that. is just one badass piece. Helmet with some, you know, battle marks. And also from the back side with the back protector, it looks awesome. I mean, they nailed the uh, outfits really down to all the details. It's just fantastic. Everything is just beautifully replicated to give you a movie accurate outfit. Now, the only thing that um, is a little bit of a let down, you know, not, not let down or, or a flaw, but it has to be mentioned that the shoulder pads on this side and this side, they come out of the box in a pretty black finish. Um, you have some sort of golden stains on it, but it really looks like it's all black. And we all know Judge Dredd has these shoulder pads or protectors in a golden finish, in a faded golden finish. So what I did here is um, I just dry brushed the, uh, the shoulder pads using a male oil gold colors which has a nicer stick to the surface than acrylic and it has a stronger gold pigmentation so it will stay longer shiny with this realistic gold effect same goes here now my buddy Clipper um, Clipper King or Reviewer King, he uh, also painted these shoulder pads with this, um, you know, kind of golden pen, you know, the gold. And here the pistol, which is also very cool. Um, the hands and the fingers are bendable, you know, they have like wires inside so you can pose the hand and the fingers in any pose you want to. So that's pretty nice and the figure comes unassembled so you have to assemble him like put the 
you know, leather belt on it with all the pouches and uh, clips and uh, what we else got here, like the grenade and the oxygen breather. And uh, that requires a little bit of time. Um, it took me like almost an hour to assemble the whole thing. Also, the um, bulletproof vest is uh, separated. And um, you can take off the helmet, which I'm not going to do right now because it's kind of difficult with one hand. But underneath the helmet is a pretty good head sculpt, head, head sculpt um, which kind of resembles Carl Urban, the uh, main actor. But, you know, it's not really a head that you want to have displayed uh, without the helmet. Um, he comes without hair. Uh, looks pretty weird if you display him that way, but Judge Dredd is meant and supposed to be displayed like this. So the mouth section here, that's the one you want to see and this one looks really nice. The paint job is excellent, um, the way they painted and applied the 5 o'clock shadow and the skin tone, everything is superb. Considering this is a $130 figure, it's incredible what art figures provided here. I mean, compared to Hot Toys figures where you pay double the price, um, this is the way it has to be, man. I mean, $130 and you get a fantastic figure, guys. Unfortunately, the thing is sold out everywhere. Um, you are lucky if you find one for less than $200, but you know, more likely you're gonna pay like 250 and I can guarantee you this figure will cost in one or two years four or five hundred dollars because Judge Dredd fans are all over the world and they're all been waiting to get finally a figure like this so it's been sold out very fast for you guys who have one or have one coming lucky you the other ones good luck chasing one but if you want one then get one now because the price will go up definitely um, the box it comes with nothing special, you know, like this artwork on it. Because it's an unlicensed figure, there is nowhere mentioned anything about Dread or Judge Dread. So it's a pretty plain black box with a little image of him on it. And uh, let me show you how this guy looks um, next to Robocop, because that's the other figure that just been released this week and they kind of go in the same genre. So let me show you this. Now look at them. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely fantastic. I mean also Robocop, which I'm not gonna review. There is plenty of nice reviews out there, but a fantastic figure. Looks absolutely amazing. And next to Dread, they just make a perfect post-apocalyptical or kind of fucked up future police couple very very nice so if you are a fan of either of them or both of them I highly recommend to get both of them get them as long as you can you won't regret it and I'm Judge D and the law out of here bye bye